In order to have a continuous supply of electricity during the load shedding and reduce the electricity bill, PV solar system coupled with battery in AC coupled configuration is used. Hi, welcome to the Pizel Engineering Channel, Passion to Excel. In this video, we are going to show how to design and simulate AC coupled PV solar system in MATLAB Simulink software. Before we, we show how to design and simulate our AC coupled PV solar system, I would like to request please be part of our family by subscribing to our channel, join our membership team in order to have access to the models and the special attention in your project, donate our channel for us to keep on producing videos like this, share our contents, comment and like this video. Our AC couple PV solar system is based on a case study for a school and we will start, we will start we we'll start a load profile by identifying essential and non-essential load and sizing the main components of our PV solar system. The main operation of our AC coupled PV solar system is PV solar system operates with a grid and battery energy storage system during the day. B battery energy storage system is charged from the AC cell side. BESS is charged with a solar energy and grid utility. During the load shedding, PV solar system supplies with a battery to the load. In the cloud days or during the day, the battery supplies the essential loads to the load. As you can see from our single line our, our single line diagram, we have the PV array, the invert, solar inverter to the this to the AC combiner box. And then from the AC combiner box, we have our battery. DC to AC bidirectional inverter to the combiner box. Here we have our load studies. We have many blocks from, from block A, block A to block M, and we have our total loads in KVN of each block. We have our installed capacitor solar of 248 kW peak. We have our essential essential load. 34.84 and have our non essential load. Here is the formula that we use to size our system. We have our energy, which is equal to power times time. We have our PV arrays, which is equal to energy times the solar irradiation divided by the total efficiency times solar radiation of the area that you are, you are sizing your system. And we have all the meanings are there. And we have the total number of panels, which is go to the PV array divided by the power of the model that we are using. And the total number of panels in parallel is equal to the total models or the total panels divided by the number of models in series. The inverter is sized based on 1.1 times PV array size and the inverter sizing ratio should be between 0.9 to 1.2 to avoid loss, losses. Charge control and the DC cable are calculated using I maximum current is equal to number of models in parallel times the I short circuit of the model that we are using for this for the sizing and the safety factor which is 1.25 for the dc cable on a string is equal to i short circuit times safety factor of 1.5 protection protection device voltage protection device should be sized based on the voltage rating should be equal or greater than 1.2 times the open volt open circuit voltage of the model times the number of models in series the current rate should be greater 1.256 times the short circuit. And this is the system size summary. 
We have our PV array of 248 times 8. We have our battery of 69.9. .9. We have our inverter of 240. We have our production inverter of 35 kilowatt, which is the, the battery that is the inverter that is used to to charge the battery. And they have our load demand of 500 kVA and a special load of 34.8. Here we have our detailed single line diagram, which we have 16 panels in series and 34, 34 strings, 34 times 2, which is 68 strings. That's the size of our cable, we have our DC combiner box, we have two, two inverters, 120 kilowatt and 120 kilowatt, which goes to the DC this AC combiner box. In the AC combiner box, we have our AC isolator, we have our bidirectional inverter, which is the 35 kilowatt, and we have our battery of 69.6. There is our load that goes to the load. As you can see, there's our our grid utility there and our combiner box. Here is our site layout. These are the hooves that is not facing and where that we can install our panels. Now let's simulate the whole system in MATLAB simulating software. This is our model which is already built. If you want more detailed, if you want more detailed model, we can check our previous videos. I will introduce each component. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, share our contents, comment and like this video. You can as well join our membership team. You can donate our channel for us to keep on doing more work like this. Now let's introduce each component. Here we have our grid. You can change based on the reality. Here with our PV array. The difference between this and the and the calculation in calculation we use our 455 panel and here we use a smaller panel here we have our mppt you can follow as it is and if if you want more details you can check our previous videos Now let's go to our battery. This is the size of our battery. The volt, nominal voltage and the rated of our battery. Here we have our back and boost converter. There, they are the size of our components. You can follow as it is. There I have our bidirectional this DC AC to DC DC to this DC to AC. Mm -hmm. But inside we, we can see there is our this DC to AC when it's supplying, and then we have our AC to DC to charge the battery. You wanted to we just separate it, we just need to separate the two. But yeah, everything inside is uh, bidirectional, we are we're taking it as a bidirectional. 
Then we have our DC to AC converter or inverter. And the main part of, of our operation is the the specific times that our the battery and the PV supplies. We have our universal bridge. There we have our load, which is 500, 550 kilowatt. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, share our contents, comment and like this video. As you can see, the from six. That's the time that the, 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 the you, you are simulating from six to night. There is a load shedding or there is no electricity, and that time, the 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 battery will supply. Let me let me just write down. Grid will supply from zero a.m to 6 and from 6 to 9 there, there is load shading it will supply again from 9 to 12 pm all right from 6 to 9 there is no electricity and the battery will supply the battery will supply from 6 a.m to 9 a.m and the pv plant will supply with the battery in case if it's needed from 9 to 4 p.m. Uh, from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Now we can simulate our system to, to check the behavior of our system. Now let's check our system. I had to cut because of uh, the simulation time. Here we have our results. We can see the we have our grid power, we have our PV solar plant, and we have our battery. The battery supplies from six to nine o'clock. The PV supplies from nine to four, and the grid only does it does not supply from nine to no, from six to nine during the load shedding. Thank you so much for for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, share our contents, comment and like this video this is doing the charging of the our bathing 